Many BenQ SW displays ships with a hockey puck right out of the box. In this video, I have a hockey puck Gen 2, and I'm going to show you how you can go in and customize the various hotkeys so that it will correspond to the color mode that you want to use. I'm Mart Suan Sang, BenQ Ambassador. Let's get started. Before we start, please subscribe if you are new and hit on the notification bell so you'll be updated every time we upload cool new videos like this. So for this video, I'm going to focus on the second generation hockey pucks which shift with two BenQ SW displays as of now. That is the SW270C that you see here that I'm using for this demo and also the brand new SW321C. With this second generation hockey puck, BenQ has replaced the D-pad with a dial that also works as a button. And with this hockey puck, BenQ have also added an extra function key here which you can go in and custom program it even further. But in this case, what I'm going to do here is show you how you can change these number one, two, three hotkey from the factory default that when you press one, it would go to Adobe RGB, number two would go into sRGB, and three would go into advanced black and white mode. Like I said, what I'm going to show you is how you can customize these so that it will correspond to your hardware calibration slot, or in this case, any other color mode that you may want to use in your workflow. Before we do that, I'd like to show you Palette Master Element, and this is the screen in Palette Master Element where you would go in and pick the different calibration slot, or in this case, the hardware calibration slot that you want to use. This is in the measurement screen, and right at the very top, you have a drop-down list there that will give you calibration one, two, or three. This is going to correspond to the internal hardware calibration slot in your BenQ display. Because all of the SW that ship with the second generation all have three hardware calibration slot, in this case, you will see calibration one, calibration two, and three. You can pick the corresponding slot accordingly to what you want to use. A couple of ideas how you can use these calibration slots. For instance, you can do dual luminance where calibration slot one is set to 80 candela, calibration slot two is set to maybe 120 candela. This way you can instantaneously switch between the two slots and see different brightness. The third calibration slot can be used for another device should you ever want to link that device up to the display and do color critical work on it. Okay, so now that you have done the calibration with Palette Master Element, what I'm going to do here is go back to the screen and show you how you can customize this. When you do a hardware calibration with Palette Master Element and pick the corresponding hardware calibration slot, in this case, Palette Master Element does not go in and automatically change the corresponding hotkey on the hockey puck for you. This is something that we have to manually do it ourselves. The next thing to note is that I have this hockey puck hanging here on the display as a demonstration. Normally the hockey puck would be down here on the stand of the display. What we're going to do in this case is call up the menu by pressing the center button. And with the second generation hockey puck, there is a dedicated controller key menu for the hockey puck. Go ahead and choose that. Controller key 123 is the option we're going to choose in this case. Once we do that by pressing the center button, we are now given options. So we can choose to use color mode or to choose between different type of input. In this case, I am going to stick with color mode. Press the center button. And now we are faced with these menus. So these menu have the number one, two, and three. These correspond to the number one, two, and three on the hockey puck hotkey. To change them, simply highlight it, press the center button so that now is blank. And we will do this to all of them. Scroll to the color mode that you want to use in this case. Calibration one, let's say I want this to be on button one, go ahead and press that down. Calibration two, I want it to be on button two, go ahead and press select there. It will show one and two. And for the third one, I don't have the third calibration slots calibrated on this display yet. So I'm going to use, in this case, in book color mode for my third calibration slot. And that's how you would do it for the hockey puck hotkey. From there, go ahead and exit out this menu. Now if I press one, it will go into calibration one, two will go into calibration two, three in this case will show me in book color mode. And you can always customize this to any other color mode that you like. Another thing too about the second generation hockey puck is that we have this extra key here. And this extra key can do a few things. So let's go into the menu one more time. Under controller key, this is called the rotation key. In the rotation key, we can choose to select different input mode. 
we can choose to mute the display or we can choose the color mode. So in this case, what I can do if I choose color mode is that I can have an extension of the three color mode that's automatically programmed into function number one, two, and three. In this case, if I want Adobe RGB, sRGB, and black and white mode, I can leave a default there. Let's exit this menu and try that out. So now I'm cycled between black and white mode, Adobe RGB, and sRGB color mode. So these are the extension that you can use with the extra function key that's built in with the second generation hockey puck. So I hope that you find this quick guide on how to go in and customize your second generation hockey puck hotkey helpful. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Give this video a like, subscribe to my channel if you are new, hit on the notification bell so you'll be updated every time I upload cool new videos like this. And until next time, art is right.